Tribe. My name is Emily Potter, the director of the Lightworker Musicians Tribe and the Million Kisses Foundation. This is something that I talk to our tribe members about, and this is a very significant problem that's happening. So I want to know if this is you as well. <sighs> Do you have the greatest musical plan? It's the greatest. You know exactly what you want. You have it written down. The only problem is that you easily get distracted from actually doing it. So what's happening in our tribe is that you, I, I know this because I'm talking to you, you have these great plans. You know exactly what you want. You're visualizing it. You have it all just mapped out. But then when it comes down to it, tribe, what's happening is that you do it for about three to five days. And you're really good for that, but then something happens on that sixth day, on that seventh day. Some of you are actually doing it up to even seven days, but that plan then, that strategy starts to decompose after that, and then you get back into the distracted space. And the consequence of that, this is also that you, you've... You justify it because look, like life is happening and there's fires to be put out. And what happens a lot if you're in this kind of cycle is that there continues to be more and more emergencies that you have to handle. There's there's other people's issues, that very important phone call you have to take. There's that that sense of like hurry to do this and that and the other because you're taking care of other people, you're taking care of your, your finances, there's all sorts of things that are prioritized over your musical plan. So let's say that you're, you have kids or you have a, a limited budget, there's, there's spaces that you're always looking for that, that elusive inter, uninterrupted block of time somewhere in the future. Oh, if only you could have that uninterrupted block of time to actually focus on your music. And it just never comes. And so in the meantime, there's, you know, making lunch and then there's that, there's the, you know, having to take a nap because you're so exhausted. There's, there's going to work all, all day and then you're coming home and you just want to, you know, veg in front of the television. There's not the plan as the priority. And you're, the thing is, you're always there's always something the next day too, and then the next day too. And it's not that you're trying to get easily distracted. It just happens with life. Life continues to blow up over and over and over again. So then you just have these little moments here and there to actually work on your musical plan. This is what you are telling me. This is something that's happening in our tribe. And what's more, if we take it even deeper, is that that elusive, uninterrupted block of time out there when if you ever even get it, then you don't feel inspired in that space or something happens to to take you out of it. And let's say that you actually decide, okay, I'm actually gonna have this uninterrupted block of time where I will not get distracted. But that might even have to mean taking off a day of work, which you cannot do because you need the money. Or if you have kids, you know, getting a babysitter just for you to have time to take for your musical plan to manifest, but you can't because you don't have the money to pay babysitter. It just continues on and on that you have this cycle of being distracted and not, not because you're not caring about your musical calling, it's just that life is just interweaving all around it and ensnaring it and pulling it down so that you don't have the room and the space to focus on you and your musical calling and your passion and the beautiful, plan that you have created. Now, if this is something that you have been dealing with for over three months, if you have felt yourself not making any progress in the last three months, I want you to think about the last three months and if this is real for you, especially those tribe members who have created a plan for yourself and you just can't quite get it into it. This doesn't apply to those who are actually having like something very, very real happening right now that actually does take your focus outside of your musical plan. That this doesn't apply to you. But you know the difference. You know the difference. So if this is something that you have had happen for at least three months, this solution is for you. I want to share. The first thing I want to make sure that you know, because a lot of you are also telling me, I really just want to know how to do this by myself. I just want to do this by myself. And I don't need help. I'm going to ask you to reframe that thought. And you might not know this, so I'm gonna make sure to inform you that everyone who has ever been successful at the higher levels has always had help. 
you can do a certain amount independently, and that's really important. To be autonomous and, and to know that you can do it is really important, especially to your inner child. I want you to imagine your little inner child saying, I can do it by myself. And yet there's a part where we really do deserve to have help, especially because you can only see as much as you can see, tribe. You can't see outside of your own perception. So first, engage and and interact with that truth. If you're someone who says, I just want to do this by myself, if that hasn't been working for you for over three months, and this is something that you're 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 struggling with is that you're not making progress happen with your musical plans to manifest, then I want you to reframe that thought and consider something else because there is a truth about humans that we do get to do a certain amount by ourselves and then we do actually get to lean in for support, for encouragement, and the big, big, big solution that I have for this specific problem in our tribe is this word, accountability. This is the solution that I want to offer at the end of this video, is that you get to do whatever it takes to put yourself in a position to be accountable to someone outside of yourself. It is very difficult, very difficult to consistently be accountable just to yourself. And I can say to you even that if you decide to just bring a friend in and say, well, can I be accountable to you? You have to make sure that that friend holds you to your very word and that you do not, you do not just say, okay, well, it's, it's, I, I had something come up and that friend says, okay, no big deal. There's a whole other higher level of accountability that you deserve to have that you can actually renegotiate your word on things, but at the high level of integrity. So sometimes some of you are actually going out and asking, can I, can a friend hold me accountable? Yes, absolutely. And if that works for you, by all means, this is the solution. Do whatever it takes to have someone outside of yourself to be accountable to. This is phenomenal, and I'm gonna share with you why. Because what you're doing is actually focusing on, a, on your musical calling and your soul's purpose, which is something you can trust more than you have so far. And that is going to shift everything around you. It's, an, it's insane how then all of a sudden there are less fires to have to put out. It's crazy, tribe. You really, you won't know it unless you actually try this. But focusing on your soul's purpose aligns things beyond comprehension. It doesn't mean that your life all of a sudden gets easy. That's not what I'm saying. But things fit in where you don't otherwise think that they can. And you don't know that because right now you're, you're kind of just scrambling and you're getting easily distracted and you're all over the place. But when you actually have that focus of soul's purpose on this planet, everything else realizes that you're serious. And that's why I continue to lean into the phrase of whatever it takes, because it does take a certain amount of strength and courage to get from this easily distracted space into this place of focus, and direction. <clears throat> so this is the invitation for you. I'll say it again. The big solution here, tribe, is not just to have this beautiful, lovely plan that you never do. That is not the solution. So once again, if you have been struggling with this for over three months, then this is a solution for you. Do whatever it takes to get yourself accountable to someone outside of yourself. That's the solution here, Tribe, and you will not even believe how much progress you're going to be making with this beautiful plan that you've created and the strategy to actually make these things manifest. For those of you who are looking for a very high level of integrity and accountability, and you believe that you and I can be a vibration, vibrational match, private message me. And this is what some, this is something I'm able to give to you, the same things that I've been able to give my clients. Clients who have been easily distracted, clients who haven't done things for years for their musical calling, all of a sudden are making leaps and strides within hours. And they're, they're by far completely different people within hours, within days because they have this high level of accountability. I will give you the same results that I've given my clients and I look forward to talking to you if you are ready to say, I'll do whatever it takes for this to happen. Until then, I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks for joining me today.